What's up guys, welcome to episode one of Amazon First Page. Now this is a series guys that is new to the YouTube space that I'm actually bringing here to the tech community and it's a series that will air on Saturdays right here on my channel where I'll be using tech related search terms within my favorite online shopping platform which is Amazon, which is probably everybody's where I will be using your suggestions for items to search terms that you guys would like to see right here on the channel. So the first item that we have up is fitness trackers. So let's go ahead and get started. Squad, yeah, we started something great. My goals on the horizon. I'm just cleaning off my plate. Listen up, we got tech so passion that keeps the fire going higher. Hundred K still a goal, which I'm inspired. Hey, links for my peoples, they buying sequels. I'm just here to keep it peaceful. So comment after these bars. Share, like, subscribe. We moving closer to these stars. Another video is here, so sit back. It's up to par. Let's go. All right, guys, welcome back. So I figured since this is the time of the year where everybody is hopping into the gyms, got their resolutions going to lose weight, hopping on those Stairmasters, getting the bench presses in and all of that, trying to get that summertime fine body ready, I figured it would be a perfect time to look up some fitness trackers. So I did what everybody's gonna do. I went on Amazon, typed in fitness trackers, and the ones that you guys are gonna see on the channel today are the ones that showed up on Amazon's first page hence the name of the series. Now some of the ones you guys see right here on Amazon's page are the exact same ones. They're just pretty much rebranded. So I'll go ahead and excuse a couple of those in today's video and only focus on the different ones for this video, if that makes sense. So the first one that I wanna show you guys today is my second favorite that I have here on the channel for you guys today. Uh, it's by a company called Dawo or Dawo, not sure really how to pronounce it. I personally like this one here for a couple of reasons. Now it was really easy to set this up and connect this to the Wear Health app that is also available on Android as well as iOS. Now I love the interface. Um, I love the fact that it can monitor your blood pressure, which I thought was actually pretty good. Um, is I'm not sure how accurate it is, but based on my personal numbers that I've you know seem to get when I go to the doctor or whatnot, it seems to be right on track with that. So that was actually pretty cool. Uh, you can also receive text messages from this from your phone, which actually comes in handy. Unfortunately, you're not able to actually respond to it, but it does display really well on here for you guys to be able to read it. Now, just like any other fitness trackers out there, it can monitor your activities like running, uh, walking, climbing, uh, biking. Um, and the last feature that I really liked on it was the ability to be able to locate your phone with this tracker. Now, what I did not like about this fitness tracker is the band itself. It was just really uncomfortable to wear for long periods of time. Uh, I kept finding myself having to stick my finger underneath it to kind of adjust it uh, to my wrist so it can feel more comfortable. So that was definitely a huge downside to this as far as wearing this for long periods of time. But I will say as a fitness tracker itself with tracking your, with monitoring your steps, uh, running, biking, all of that different stuff like that, um, it actually handles that really well. But I really wish that maybe for a next version or a 2.0 version that they would focus on being able to have swappable bands. Um, that way you can find some comfortable ones that fit um, really nice on your wrist because this one here is just not it. All right guys, so next on my Amazon first page list is my least favorite out of the bunch for several reasons. Now the very first thing is being uh, connecting this to the JU app, which I had a really hard time um, and terrible user experience trying to pair this fitness bracelet to my uh, my phone within the recommended app. Now I've had this for over two weeks and I still haven't actually figured out how to get this thing connected. Now if you guys are out there and have this, please let me know how you guys can connect this because I'm still trying to figure it out. Every single time that I would try to pair it, it would always say that it can't find, you know, the nearby the nearby bracelet for this one. So not sure how to connect it. But on a more positive note, I will say that the material that they actually use is a lot comfortable than the other one that I just showed you guys here. So overall, guys, I still wouldn't personally recommend this one to anyone since my experience with trying just to connect this thing to my phone was a terrible overall experience. And I'm just gonna have to tell you guys, I would definitely pass on this one. And um, I don't think that this one should deserve um, a spot on Amazon's first page. Now, the next one that I wanna talk about is by a company called Let's Calm. Now, this fitness tracker here is definitely a good one. And it's one of those standard trackers that you guys can find out there um, that a lot of the Amazon FBA companies source from companies like Alibaba and just slap their own branding on it. So it includes a lot of the same features like running, walking, stepping, biking, a lot of that tracking. Um, that I showed you guys from the first one, but instead of it having a color screen and having that ability to be able to tap to advance
things to the screen on the right. This one in particular has a tap system where the screen menu slides up instead of you being able to tap to the right. Now, I like that concept of it going vertical than horizontal, which going through the different pages makes it a lot intuitive and a lot smoother. Now, as far as how comfortable it is, I would have to give this a nine out of 10 as far as the comfort level, as I was able to wear this literally all day with no fatigue and irritation. Now, the app that you guys can download for this is called an app called Very Fit Pro, which syncs up really nice with your watch and when storing your steps or working out activities within this app, it works flawless. Now, while I was out doing some jogging and walking or whatever out in the cold weather for you guys, um, I found that the step tracking and the jogging, whether you're doing walking or jogging or biking, is extremely accurate when it comes to tracking this and feeding this back into the application. So in my opinion, guys, all around, I think this is a great product and definitely deserves to be on the first page of Amazon and deserves a purchase from you guys. And again, I will have links to all of these items down in the description below. Last but not least, guys, the one that I've been wearing this entire video and which is my favorite out of the bunch, but I won't say by a long shot since I did like the one by Dawa that I showed you guys, which is the first one, uh, which I thought it was an excellent one. But this one here, I can see rocking on a daily basis. This one here, guys, is the Fitbit Charge 3. Now, you guys know we couldn't do an Amazon search for fitness trackers and not talk about Fitbit. Now, this one here had a much better overall experience from how easy it was to set it up, charge it, connect it and pairing it to your phone and within the app, being swim proof, which is a plus, and also having a battery that can last up to seven days and just an overall great display, very comfortable and an entire overall app experience that is just amazing. Now this one here guys is a bit on the higher end as far as costs go, but I've learned that within this fitness tracker game that if you guys are able to spend just a little bit more money, your experience can go from being just okay um, from a fitness tracker level to being one of the best fitness trackers that I've ever used. But to me guys, it's the little things that connecting it to my phone that was a lot easier, uh, pressing on the sides here, giving you that haptic feedback to be able to always go back to the home screen if you'd like. Uh, being able to update and change the watch faces within the app works really well that I like. Also to me, this fitness tracker shines the most through its intuitive app that just outshines any of the other ones that I talked about and covered in today's video. Now, one of my favorite things with using the Fitbit one that I noticed within the app um, is the challenges tab. This is gonna allow you guys to be able to join in on challenges within the community of people that will help keep you motivated um, throughout your fitness journey. So that way you guys can keep on track with those new year resolutions. Overall guys, this is a tracker that I would definitely say should be number one with that search item on Amazon. Although it is not, I would highly recommend getting this one over all of the others and even checking out that Dawa one that I saw, uh, which I also thought was a solid one to use. Well guys, that about wraps up the very first episode of Amazon First Page. So if you guys rock with this new series, go ahead and comment below uh, what you guys would like to see as far as the next search items that you guys would like to see here on the channel, um, as this is going to be how I continue this series with you guys' suggestions of what you guys would like to see. If you guys wanna see more, go ahead and hit that like button, comment below, share this video, all that good stuff. Thanks again for watching guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.